For the last seven years, Twitch streamer and content creator Amaranth has been stuck in an abusive relationship with her husband. He has had partial control over her finances and over the years has forced her to make content. And during the live stream phone call where this was all revealed on, he verbally abused Amaranth to tears and even threatened to harm her dogs. This is a very dark situation, so we will do our best to break down what we know. Before we start, I'd like to issue a content warning for this video since we will be discussing domestic abuse, among other things. If you or someone you know is facing domestic violence, we have put links in the description to support hotlines. So over the weekend, Amaranth was streaming Overwatch 2 with several other content creators when she stepped away to take a phone call. Amaranth looked visibly anxious and said it was a call from her assistant regarding a situation that they had to handle. For the next hour and a half, Amaranth was just off screen speaking to someone on the phone while her mic was muted. Amaranth came back and unmuted herself, and what we heard was a man on the other end of the call berating her. Exactly. Because I'm gonna let you say what you think you heard. But you... then I'm gonna say what I thought I said! But you cannot interrupt mine because I'm not gonna interrupt you! What are you saying? From what we can tell, it seems like the conversation started a bit earlier in the day and might have stemmed from a conversation about wanting her to stream for long hours or even participate in a threesome. But specifically during the call, Amaranth's husband was screaming at her for not listening and insinuating that he was crazy. But Amaranth was more preoccupied with the fact that her husband said that he was going to hurt her dogs. Why did you say you were going to kill my dogs? Leave the house. Okay. I can leave that. You know what? Actually, I don't. I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. Her husband then continued to scream at, belittle, and gaslight Amaranth until she was in tears. He later claimed that Amaranth and her assistant attempted to swat him, but she said she only called the police because he was getting physical with her while trying to take away her phones. But directly after that, her husband admitted to lying and bending the truth in order to tear down her empire. You're literally just lying to my Twitter. Yeah, I don't care. I built the Twitter. Once the phone call ended, Amaranth began to talk directly to her stream while continuing to deal with the situation. That's when we all learned a lot more. To start, we all learned that the man on the other line was in fact her husband, not something that was public information. Prior to this, everyone was under the assumption that Amaranth was single. And despite it being entirely reasonable, Amaranth didn't actually want to keep her relationship a secret. It was only because her husband thought it would harm the business. But we'll touch on that a bit later. So if you're wondering why her husband was being so open during this call, it's because he didn't realize that he was on stream. Once he did, his tone changed pretty quickly. And unfortunately, the abuse that we all witnessed was not just the beginning for Amaranth. Amaranth claimed that her husband would take her off stream for hours at a time just to scream at her. She pleaded for him to seek therapy, but to no avail. When it came to the actual business side of things, to say that her husband was controlling would be an understatement. Her husband constantly criticized her for not doing more in terms of content and numbers, always moving the goalposts of what he expected from her. She even showed that he threatened to sell her horses if she didn't stream more or hit a certain viewer count. To make matters worse, he also had access to all her bank accounts, social medias, and all the two-factor authentications even went back to his phone, which was quote, by his design. In a heartbreaking moment, Amaranth actually said that they used to get along. That was until everything became about money for him. He wanted every aspect of her life to revolve around making content and would become enraged whenever she did anything off stream. For example, her addition to Twitch's hot tub meta was mostly due to him pushing for it. And on top of that, he forced her to stream long hours, not letting her sleep. And despite how lucrative her content has been, all his regulations made her feel like she was, quote, living in a fancy prison. It even got to the point where he was threatening to blow all her money on crypto and other random things if she didn't follow every one of his demands. Or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute, buying options that expire and blasting the cash, about to shut down the bank account, your bank account too. On top of trying to control every aspect of her life, Amaranth also showed what would happen if she ever tried to displease him. You know what you are. I would lock my door, but he broke that too. So, Best know. advice I can give that during my divorce my grandma gave. Took the this the too phone shall from pass. Me. Phone from me. And so I ran in here to call the cops and he literally kicked the door in and broke like this doesn't even have a hinge anymore as disheartening as this entire stream was its ending was even more abrupt and concerning what are you talking about why would you ask if i'm taking my 
Her door opened a crack, and her assistant asked if Amaranth had been taking her medication. Amaranth looked confused, and then the stream cut out. All we know is that Amaranth was in fact safe after the stream ended. Many content creators reached out directly or over social media to offer support, with some even doing wellness checks to make sure Amaranth was safe. Of course, even more people took to Twitter to condemn the actions of Amaranth's husband, and even highlight the seriousness of domestic abuse. Unfortunately, as with all drama, there was plenty of disgusting takes online, but there is one common bad faith argument I wanted to try and help dispel. As I said before, if keeping her relationship private was something that she wanted to do, that was completely her right, full stop. She is not lying to anybody, nor is she tricking her audience or customers. Creators deserve the privacy that they want, and your connection to them does not go past whatever type of entertainment they're providing you. On top of that, just because you don't like a content creator doesn't mean that they deserve any form of abuse, or claims that they're lying about the abuse for views. Some people even attempted to criticize Amaranth for giving so much control over to her husband. I'd explain how stupid this argument is, but but I think Linus already put it best. If you're victim blaming Amaranth for giving her spouse access to her accounts, then I guess I'm also dumb for being in business with my wife. You don't marry someone unless you trust them, and it's not a sin to be open and vulnerable with a partner. And thankfully, it wasn't just Linus. Other larger voices in the community also offered their support. He believes that she is calling him crazy. And she might not be calling him crazy, but I, as well as everyone else who has seen these clips, is. This man is f unhinged. He is crazy. This man is nuts. Now, yesterday, Amaranth was supposed to go live, but moments before that, she tweeted that someone had called the cops. Eventually, she did end up going live and gave everybody an update on her situation. Amaranth confirmed that her husband truly did control everything, from what she was allowed to wear to what she was allowed to do. I just don't feel like I have to turn down invites to shit camp and stuff now, or like the girls trip, because it's not good. It's not good use of time. Could be home getting more conversions and money. I can actually feel like I can have friends again. Most importantly, Amaranth has regained access to all of her accounts and her husband is out of the house seeking help. On top of that, Amaranth is also seeking help, both legally and for the emotional trauma. She also gave us some information regarding some of her now former employees and whether or not they were using the situation for cloud or even sat on information that could have helped her. I don't believe that we've ever seen abuse like this live on Twitch before, at least not from a high profile creator like this. But it's important to know that situations like this do happen, and sex workers are even more susceptible to this type of controlling behavior. For that reason, we also have links in the description that can provide help for sex workers. As of right now, that's all we know about the situation. If anything else develops, we'll do what we can to keep you all informed.